What is up everybody? Quick update. So this is what the plants look like now. I've done a few um, rounds of defoliation here. So a poke on in here. You can see I trimmed these back, trimmed them down to get them out. Um, and so this plant is doing really well. Again, I got some awesome time lapse that I can put in here. This guy, honestly, I'm at a loss. I, I have no idea what's going on. Um, I mean, it's the same, supposedly the same seed um, strain. It's this one, I did all the same things. Moving the, the bubbler to the front didn't seem to help so much, so who knows, you know? Um, yeah, but I mean, it's, Jim is growing, so I'm gonna just keep letting him grow, do less stressful training on him, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, um, this thing right here, my chiller, um, my power supply stopped working, um, so I had to scrounge through my closet and find this power supply, um, but that also is on the fritz. Um, so I'm reading the wattage now, and that number like slowly drops, and when it gets below 110, uh, the power supply stops. So, you know, I have no idea what's going on, even though this should be a 350 watt power supply, so this is well within its capabilities. But that's some cheap Chinese junk I had for an old 3D printer I had. Um, but, with the chiller not working, I got a little nervous about the temps. So I uh, threw in this ice, um, keep the water colder. I just put it in, so keep an eye on the uh, graph. I'll stick a graph, or stick a screenshot of the graph in here. Um, I also went to my local hydroponics store, got this stuff. The guy recommended it. Um, it's a uh, great white beneficial bacteria. Uh, this is for roots to basically to outcompete the other bacteria um, because with the high temperatures I've had for the past two, two, three days, um, I'm starting to see what possibly looks like root rot bacteria. I don't know. You know, I don't really know what to look for. Um, it's not there any now. What I've been doing actually is I come in here and I just spray. I take this water, which has been turned from the chiller, uh, and I spray wherever I see like little dark spots starting. Let's see if you can see, yeah, see that little dark spot right there. I'll be able to just spray that out. Um, it's hard to do this. Uh, maybe not. That guy's lodged in there. But that might be root bacteria, you know? I don't know. Um, so, I added this in. Let's see, what's going on back there? Look at that, that, that looks pretty dark, doesn't it? I wonder if I should trim it off or what? Um, but yeah, I added in this beneficial bacteria. I've been trying to clean the roots. I got this ice bag in here. Although it's already melted to get them out, so I'm not sure how much that's going to help. Um, but it's another step along the journey. It's where we are now. Um, I will update you guys in a bit. All right, I thought I'd show you guys quickly um, the result of putting in that ice bag. Uh, that actually pretty quickly um, dropped the temperature here. Look, I was pushing 66. Um, right now I am at, or sorry, pushing 76, now I'm at 73. Um, so that might be enough to hold me off. I got another one of those. I can maybe swap one in every day until my new power supply comes in. All right, guys, quick update. I got a new power supply here. Um, spent extra money for a, a Meanwhile one just because I don't want that to break anymore. And uh, I think the roots are better. I don't know, I mean, they look, 
maybe wider. I'm not, you know, it could be a magic pace. There's a little bit of the ground stuff. So the other thing I noticed, which you probably won't be able to see, but yeah, you can't really tell. But I can see when I move these roots around, there's like a cloud almost, or a, a fog or a powder that comes off. Um, which might be that beneficial root bacteria. Um, don't know. Um, but either way, I think things are going better. Um, the chiller, I just got that uh, thing back on, so we'll see where we can get our temps to. Um, this plant, again, is just... Honestly, it's too dense. I'm gonna have to trim it back again, and I don't, damn, and also, look at this. I ripped that off earlier, but shooting out another branch right from where I ripped off the old one. This thing, um, it's too powerful. Uh, and this guy, still, you know, on the Brits. Um, but yeah, that's where I stand. What's up guys? Another quick update. This is what we are looking at now. Um, of course, James doing good as ever. Getting super dense. I'm gonna go through and do some defoliation. Jim, the usual Jim. Dying leaves, but good growth. I don't know what that means. Um, starting, starting to care less and less about Jim, you know, I'm kind of giving up. We'll see, you know, what kind of yields. This is what we're looking at under here. Honestly, these roots look wider than they were before, so maybe that green white stuff works. There's no but also it could be because I got that thing repaired. Um, but yeah, I think things are looking good here. They've been drinking a lot. You can see there, the top two have dropped. Um, so we're at level four. Um, let's see, over here. Got a mess here, but uh, my attempt at a clone, not doing so well. So, yeah, that didn't work. Let me take this out here, show you on it. Mm. Nothing really. So yeah, um, maybe, Maybe this can't be cloned just by sticking it in water. It might need um, might need aeroponics. I don't know. I haven't read much about cloning these, to be honest. Um, but this guy, my um, hardwood cuttings, don't see any roots. Um, but the buds are growing. So that's kind of cool. And um, same with all of these. Buds are growing. I'm keeping them spritzed. Let's see if there's any roots down here. No roots, so I don't know. I'm not sure if these will actually be or not. Um, but yeah, we will see. Alright, what I'm going to do right now is um, defoliate and I will show you the results of that. Alright, so I defoliated Jim here. Uh, basically, I kind of just went through and picked off any leaf that was looking either way too big or uh, sickly. And I noticed that, let's see if I can find any. Some of these leaves were like, uh, whatever they are, but some of them were very um, non-symmetric. 
Uh, so maybe not that many, because a lot of these are symmetric. But some of them, you know, had only one large and then a few weird misshapen leaves on, all around them. But yeah, I guess most of them were symmetric. Um, but I don't know what that means. Also, another thing I noticed was, let's, let's see, is it, it's not really picking up on this camera, but these stems are purple. Um, or much more purple than, than this guy's stems. Look over there. Bring it everywhere. But a lot of these stems are purple. Like, look, there's a little spot of purple there. And then look at this one. Some strong purple on that one. This is, this one's kind of uh, asymmetric. Um, looks like the healthy growth, or the not yet sick growth, let me put it that way, is not purple. Um, but it just purples over time. So, yeah. Well, okay. I am going to James. I am always much more um, precise. I guess not always, but now that I'm trimming with James, because um, this plant is so much more symmetrical. Basically, everything grows at the same rate. Every node gets two branches, two leaves. Um, no, no unknowns here. So basically, I'm going to go through and remove the same leaves from every branch, uh, and I will show you that when I'm done. All right, defoliation done here. You can see back down the center there. Um, let's see, let me jam the camera in here. Let's do a little thing, more close-ups. That's where I just cut. I cut off the main leaves. Um, I suspect that maybe I should remove one more level of leaves to really let these branches grow. Um, but yeah, actually, I'm probably going to do that. Go through and remove a little bit more of these. One more layer of large leaves to force the branches out. Um, I think I'm going to get each of these six main branches. So look at how thick, thick that stem is getting. Let's get it in there. I think for each of these main, six main branches, I'm going to get at least two shoots, two side branches, maybe four side branches. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through and do a little more defoliation. But just for comparison, this is what uh, the healthy leaves look like. No, no issues here. That's the pile of uh, sick leaves. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. I'll be back. looking at now. I guess, uh, I guess these aren't really needed anymore. The, the training is done. Um, I hope I didn't go too far. But my goal here was to let these little branches make sure that the light was hitting them because I want them to go straight up. So each one has, uh, I guess, this should, uh, that leaf was too small. I didn't feel like hauling it. I think that one can still shoot up. But each one now has at least one little branch that uh, will hopefully shoot. Uh, my hope is that this is my last defoliation, um, at least on this guy. Probably on Jame, I'm gonna keep cutting the dead, dead and dying leaves so the energy goes into new ones. Maybe eventually they'll just turn healthy. But yeah, my hope on this plant is uh, that's my last defoliation because I'm gonna switch to flower in uh, about two weeks, the end of this month. So, yeah, uh, quick update. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Cheers.